Hi there, Laura here from Get Organized HQ, and I want to talk to you about why you struggle with organization, either getting organized or staying organized, and it's probably not what you think. So, since you're watching this video about organization, I'm going to assume that you like to watch videos online or read blog posts or consume information about organizing. And there is such a wealth of organizing inspiration and ideas online and I love it. I am here for it. You can get just so much help and a lot of it is completely free to get yourself more organized. But here is another thing that starts to happen when you do that without you even realizing it is somebody will say that they struggle with organization and then they did X, Y, Z thing, and now things are much better. They're, they're much more able to get organized. And what you start to think, and this is com completely normal, is you start to think, well, I need to do that X, Y, Z thing that they did because that totally worked for them. Here's what we're missing though. Not everybody is the same. So obviously we know that like everyone is different and I love that. Like I love celebrating the beauty and the differences in all of us, everyone's personality is different. But I'm going to go even deeper and say that everyone's organizing personality is different. So the way that you most naturally get and stay organized might be different from someone else's. And until you understand your own organizing personality, it's going to be a lot harder for you to make progress when it comes to organizing. So you might be thinking, yeah, Laura, that makes total sense. But how do I find out what my organizing personality is? Well, I've got you covered. We have researched extensively. I have been talking to women online and in real life about organization for 11 years and consumed tons of content. And I have boiled it down to the things that matter most when it comes to organizing. And we've put it in one quiz that you can take and it will give you the result of your organizing personality type. So we've made the quiz extra fun. Your result is going to be a flower. So you can either be a lavender, a sunflower, a rose, or a cactus blossom. And your results will be spelled out for you with that to help you understand yourself. And we don't just want to do this for fun, although I think it is a ton of fun. I mean, who doesn't love taking those personality quizzes? I can tell you how many I've taken. And super fun, but also going to give you useful information that you can actually do something with. Now, if you are curious about what my organizing personality type is, and let me tell you, whenever I took this quiz, I was like, oh my goodness, it totally got me. So I feel like it's really accurate. Then send me a DM on Instagram. That is the easiest way to reach me. I'll put my link down below. Um, and I would love to hear what your organizing personality type is, and I will tell you mine as well. Now, I'm going to tell you a couple of the things that these types are going to reveal to you. So number one, you can either be someone who likes to tackle projects, organizing projects, or probably otherwise, but certainly organizing projects, either by doing a little bit at a time. So you want to do a little bit every day. You do great with it. Do five minutes a day or 15 minutes a day or the declutter one item every day and you'll see progress add up over time. That is one side of things. On the other side over here, you have people who just want to tackle everything at once. Like I would much rather take a Saturday and get all my decluttering done for most of the year and not have to be doing it every single day. Or, you know, I'd rather tackle this room and overhaul it in a couple afternoons or a week rather than working on it for 10 minutes a day for three months. So those are the two types of organizers there are. And here's the deal. Neither one of these is inherently good or bad or inherently right or wrong. They are both amazing and wonderful, but if you understand the way that you most naturally work best, you're going to be able to tailor whatever information you get about organizing to yourself and make it really work for you. And I also want to point out one other thing here. So you might think on the surface that if you are one type, like say you want to organize all at once, that you should always do everything that way, right? That's not necessarily true because it doesn't matter what type you are, there are going to be times in life, right, that you just have to do it one way or the other. Like for example, if you're the all at once kind of person, you really can't just take one Saturday a month and wash, get all your dishwashing done for that month. Like it doesn't work that way. Sorry, that's gonna be kind of nasty. Like you do kind of have to do that on a daily or almost daily basis. So there's always gonna be times where you are required because of how just life works 
to go a little bit outside of your natural state and that's okay. You've now understood your natural state and you understand why going outside of that is difficult. And then once you understand that, it's going to be easier to help yourself do that. You may need to put some extra things in place to help keep you on top of it and motivated. And now you know why. And you know why it's hard for you. There's not anything wrong with you. Like certain things are hard for all of us. It's just you have a certain way that comes most naturally to you. In addition to that, it's really important to know whether you are a functional organizer or an aesthetic organizer. So functional means you value efficiency overall and you want that functionality. You want to be able to find things quickly and easily. You want everything to have a place, but you really don't care how it looks. That's the person who, like say you're setting up a filing system. You literally just take whatever pen you have handy and you write on the file folder like what the file is. That's fast. That's efficient. That requires no extra time and you got it done. And then next time if you, you know, this is a purple pen, next time you, all you have is an orange pen, that's fine. You'll, you'll write your file with the orange pen. That, that, that's the functional type. But over here we have the aesthetic type and obviously everyone needs to be functional, right? Like if it's not functional, if you can't find things, then what is the point? Um, but in addition to needing it to be functional and work for you, you are not going to value it being efficient and fast and easy to get done over how it looks. So you are going to take a little bit of extra time and you're going to print out matching, matching labels for your file folders. And again, neither one of these is right or wrong. You just need to understand how you work. So if you're the person over here that wants those very beautiful file labels, I'm willing to bet that you're going to keep up with that system way better than if you were just like, oh, I wish I were the functional organizer over here, so I'm just going to like scribble on it with whatever pen I can find and try to be okay with it. You're not going to be okay with it on the inside. You know, you know yourself, you're not. So you're going to do so much better if you work with your own style. And again, with this one, it is important to understand that while you'll be able to go with your own style, most of the time, there are going to be times for whatever reason that you need to deviate from that, but just knowing and identifying that is going to make you feel so much better about the times when you do have to go a little bit outside of your natural state. You're going to understand why it's hard for you, and you're going to have be able to more easily remind yourself, hey, this is hard because this isn't my natural state, but I can do this anyway. So it's just going to help you so much once you have that understanding. So what I'd like everyone to do is go click the link down below, take the quiz for yourself. You can come back here and let us know which one you got. Or if you want to hear from me, be sure you send me a DM on Instagram and I'll tell you what my organizing type is. And let's see if we can all organize better this year because we know what our type is. Oh, and if you don't mind, go ahead and share the quiz with a friend because I know we all love this and figure out what their type is too. And you guys can support each other.